interesting find, guys. Deeping in the hole, you reveal. Have a look. That looks like one of those old enamel pendants you used to be able to make. And that's green on the back too. Someone's lost their little locket, or sorry, not locket, but heart shaped pendant in the backyard. Just doing a vacant block here. There's a whole set of vacant blocks. The developers have knocked all the houses down maybe six months ago. This is perfect to get through the backyards where the clotheslines were and before they build the new units. I'm always looking for these vacant blocks where the houses have been knocked out. Good little find. Amazing what you find car door handle in the backyard <laughs> crazy right now I'm right under the trees at the very back of this block and someone has left the key in the garden and I found it there's a bit here. oh hang on Looks like it says Holden on that key, I could be wrong. Hardex, I'm hard, not sure. Hardex. There you go, I may have bent that, getting it out, not sure. Let's check that hole. There's more in here. I have to go for a bit more of a dig. Wait, whatever it is, is out. I think, I think I know what this one is. The dreaded ring pull. Bastards of things. I've probably got five kilos worth of aluminium ring pulls. All right, we've uh, been going for a while now and picked up all manner of junk, but I'm at the back of the blocks right near the trees and nice little signal in the ground, very faint 44. And I have no idea what this is. It's, I couldn't tell you. It looks old, which is great. I love old things. Back, way back in the day, I am in the area of, where am I now? I'm at Seven Hills, New South Wales. And this is way in the back of the yard. It's feel a bit light, but I'm gonna have to take that home and clean it up. Just check there's nothing else in there. Yeah, it's still beeping in there, so I'm gonna keep digging this one, but that, Gonna stay nice and close. Can't even make out anything on that, but anyway, we'll get it back home and clean it up and see what we've got. see is on one side it's it almost looks like an octopus but I doubt it very much but on this side it's definitely a, a map of Australia with an Aborigine throwing a spear and on the bottom underneath his foot it does say 1945 I'll try and zoom in and show that so I'm not sure whether you can make that out but it says 1945 Aborigine with Australia and this side we're still trying to work out exactly what that is. It looks like there's a clip on the top, like it might have been worn around the neck, and that held onto the coin. And it does say some words on here. I think the top says metal, and the bottom I'm not sure. But anyway, we're going to clean it a bit more, and then I've got to try and work out, go onto Google and find out what the heck it is. So, I found out what it is. It is a 1945 commemorative medal called a victory medal 
Uh, they made 1,100,000 of these and gave them to Australian school children for the celebration of the end of the Second World War or the victory of the Second World War. On one side is a knight with a sword standing over Australia and it was bronze, silver, silver plated bronze, the silver's all gone on this one. There's the original, that's what it would have looked like. And the, uh, the metal uh, had a little loop at the top which on the reverse side has been bent over and the reverse side is the map of the southern hemisphere with Australia, Antarctica, New Zealand, South America and Southern Africa all merging together. And there's the original there. So there you go, 1945 victory medal for school children.